Hello creative people and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you already have guessed, I'm actually making this um, Cult Gaia inspired Sarita dress. Um, it's very popular on Instagram and a lot of you asked, so uh, let's get started. To create this pattern you need basic pattern for dress you can find that on my channel once you have the basic pattern I'm starting with um, adding the length for the dress I decided to go with 25 this is optional you can do short dress you can do longer dress this is your option you can do however you like once I added the length of a dress I actually went and added minus one centimeter on the middle lower back because I was like you know I want my back to show a little bit more than not just be a like a clear cut in the middle uh, then I also added minus five centimeter because I will be sewing this with very 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 stretchy fabric so I actually took away minus five centimeters on each side of the skirt part for both front and back for this skirt part of the top you have to connect the side together with the waist and also add those extra five centimeters on the top because you need to have enough fabric to wrap the uh, top part together with the skirt also moving on to the um, breast area the top of the dress for the top of the dress i didn't add actually specific measurements the most important thing for me was here to just cover the breast area and just create those little like um bretelle things also very important thing when you're doing the top is to match the side of the top together with the back side of the top and i will show you a little bit later on this actually works with stretchy fabrics but if you're using fabric that i will be showing you in this video um it's not that um exact with the measurements because the fabric is very stretchy and it does fit all sizes this is mud fabric, which is often used for collars, for like um, the edges of the sleeves and etc etc. It's very stretchy fabric and it's woven all around just like a big giant loop. So what I did here is I actually just added the front piece and right besides there I added the back piece and I just measure one centimeter for the sewing and cut out. You don't have to do this step because this fabric is so 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 stretchy, you will literally come in it like it's believe me so the size here is actually um, like one size this dress if you're using mudding fabric you can everybody can fit in it like this fabric is very very stretchy <laughs> so that's why I for example for the front piece here I do have the both back and the front piece that I will be placing it but I decided to do this part as well like that just because um, you will see what I mean <laughs> Um, it's only like one giant loop so I will not have any seams on the side and I don't, I don't have to do um, extra work so this is how it looks and believe me this piece will actually fit size 50 so um, it's very stretchy and very comfortable I also cut tiny little stripes for the um, edges of the top. This will be, a few of them will be my bretelles and the rest will be just nice edges. So I will sew later on, you will see. Then I took one stripe and I am going to add these stripes on the lower edges of the top, both on the upper parts to create the bretelles as well as the lower part and I will do exactly the same thing for the skirt as well. I'm starting as you can see right in that middle. Um, it's okay that your edges will be like ugly because you will cover that up later on with the skirt part that is going to be right in that middle front and you're going to scrunch it up so nothing will be seenable.
the top was a little bit too big for me here so what I did is I actually folded and I just cut right in that middle and I took away about I think um, maybe four three or four centimeters this is very fine if you feel that your top doesn't sit tight on your breasts um, you can do this step because this will make it much more smaller don't be afraid that these edges look a little bit like uh, not straight um, once you put the dress on it will straighten up everything you will see <laughs> As you can see for the skirt I did exactly the same thing I just connected the skirt together from both front and back I placed it one above the other and I sew it so I have a connected piece once I have done that I will also add that little um, stripe on the um, edges for the top and then I will connect the top together with the skirt The mud fabric does not fridge out so you will not have any uh, threads falling out therefore I did not do any sewing on the lower uh, line of the dress or the skirt so therefore I just left it the way it was I also sewed the bretelles on the back you have to try the dress on to see if the bretelles the length are good for your size And this is the finishing dress it's just a beautiful dress it's very comfortable because of the fabric if you are trying to create this dress with another type of fabric you have to have stretchy material um, even though if it is stretchy please follow the instructions of my pattern making because if you're using mud fabric then it's fine don't be afraid to cut more one or two centimeters extra it's totally fine I always say you have to try the dress on to see if it really fits you uh, with stretchy fabrics especially with mud fabric fabric um, it's very hard not to fit you so if you have any questions please comment below I will try to answer them as possible um, and yeah I really hope you like this dress and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like always if you have any other suggestions what kind of videos you would like to see on my channel please comment below or contact me on my social media all of my links are listed in my description box below see you till next time Hey, Thank you.